all right so yo welcome welcome back everybody so in today's video we're going to be going over the new warzone update 1.56 that just released today uh relatively big update it was 3.4 gigabytes 3 point something gigabytes which is relatively really big uh for just a random update um now we all know what came out in this update the snoop dog skin the you know yada 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 which is absolute w uh but before we we keep going with the video i'm asking for one thing one thing only drop your boy a like button it does help out this youtube videos go a long way so i appreciate it thank you uh now getting back to the snoop dog skin is a w bro i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie it is a pretty big w it, that's sick bro i might cop it might be one of those bundles where i actually might buy it it is 2400 cod points as y'all can see right here 2400 uh kind of expected that's what they always put their high uh anticipated um uh bundles we have the bong reaper not sure if this is the car 98 from vanguard uh and then we have the cooper with the green wheat tracers all of these have the green wheat tracers and then the big one which is the mp40 the she she's the sh the shiznit i don't know what it's called but it, it has a nice little cool skin on it too and then the green wheat tracer so that's pretty sick we have the original gangsta snoop dog emblem and then a few um finishing moves and highlights or whatever and then a mellow metal charm which is like a gold little wee thing and then the high arch spray uh so relatively pretty pretty uh nice bundle w bundle i'm not gonna lie i like the skin pretty cool but then next is kind of when we start getting into the where is the rest of this three gigabyte update at because i know three gigabytes is not just for a snoop dog bundle you know i don't you know that's not that's not true you know um that's not the case so we do have some uh patch notes i guess nothing really changed to be honest you i'm kind of disappointed in these patch notes nothing really it's really nothing at all uh so they said battle royale adjustment which i think this is for regular br i'm not entirely sure uh because they also mentioned uh bangor royale so at the start of the season season two reloaded we talk about uh our intent to merge the core and vanguard royale experience into a single cohere mode and eh, i don't know uh, we've not arrived the final step of the merger so they're gonna merge vanguard royale and regular br together which i don't know how to feel about that i think vanguard royale should keep their own thing going um and then regular br just keep it regular br uh they just talk about the public events that happens while in game like the restock the cash drops the heavy weapon drops resurgence and uh the new ones which is the heavy weapon crate and then the plunder crate i don't hey hey you know hey <laughs> uh first free loadout drop now occurs earlier so that's cool i guess uh guaranteed advance and then the fourth circle guaranteed to be a restock or fire sale whichever happens uh and then next i mean they just kind of remind us of what they did already of when they bumped up the core the core the battle royale in cardera health up to 150 when it was 100 so the ttk is slower on caldera because of that now uh, and then Daddy's still going to be legendary, which is still going to be hard to find. Or is not going to be as easy as it used to be to find. And then the contracts, big game bounty, top secret supply drop. You know, like I'm saying, yeah, nothing really crazy in these patch notes. And then just little bug fixes. The one bug fix that I was looking for them to fix here was the one with the buy station where you go on the buy station on controller players. And then let's say you wanted to go buy a loadout, you, you go up, right? And then the thing glitches you back on top uh, of the selection. So let's say you, you wanted to get a loadout, boom. And your teammate, your first teammate up there, uh, you know, you accidentally is gonna, are going to buy him because it's going to push your selection all the way back up again. Or if you buy plates, it's going to push you back up or whatever. It's just weird, a weird glitch in the buy station, which has been going around for literally like a, a, a whole month straight, which... I don't know why they haven't fixed it yet, but they doing these little small fixes like Caldera elements, uh, restock and quick fix description and and keyboard and mouse prompts, uh, uh, prompts for the playlist and 
invite from social menu errors whatever 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 nothing nothing really crazy allowing players to clip through golden bunker doors what and then combat shield blueprints not to appear correctly when equipment in the loadout i don't i don't i don't even know what that means i the, the big one i was looking for like i said was the one for the buy station but yeah yeah i don't know i don't know how to fill out on this patch notes really really wasn't no patch notes there um so yeah they definitely did something else with the rest of that three gigabyte update that's why i was a little excited because it was three gigabytes you know i there's there's definitely some stealth nerfs stealth buffs stealth changes that they didn't mention in the patch notes uh so stay tuned for that and either way hope you have a wonderful day take care and i'll see y'all later peace